good day to you. Just to give you an idea of what's going on today, it's the solar eclipse. So we're looking southwards, um, go around to the west. We're quite a lot of low level cloud. It's been reported in the mass media. This is looking north, up above. The sky starting to clear. And around to the east. Yeah, um, cloudy skies like this being reported in our media as uh, smog that's come over from Paris, France. Came in yesterday and it's due to go this afternoon. Hmm, there's a solar eclipse this morning that's due to go on for the next two hours and then it's done by this afternoon. So, but the sky is actually starting to clear, eh? Well, I say that starting to clear. This is compared to what it was, so obviously, if this is starting to clear, then you can imagine what it was like yesterday, last night, etc. But anyway, hopefully, a couple of videos, and theoretically, each one should be getting darker and darker and darker, shouldn't it? Yippee! about half a cup of coffee and one small cigar later and is it darker? Who knows? As you can see lots of people have come down to observe this eclipse. There's about five people up there on the groin further up than the next one in the centre of the picture and they're probably journalists. <laughs> Not much chance of human positive intention clear in the skies today, is there? During this solar eclipse, that this beach is well packed, obviously, with all the people that have come down. like the sun is there, don't it? That's looking selfie. Eh? <laughs> so that would be the 12 o'clock sun, not the 9 o'clock sun. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is um, one full coffee and three small cigars later since the first video. So you can work out the time yourself. So my humour's a bit cynical today, eh? A bit dry, maybe, for some people. <laughs> but... Well, then five people were earlier. That little pier is now... It's got a lot of people on it, 20 or 30 people. And this is where my humour gets a bit dry. Right, in the last three months, there's been about 20 days where we've sat on the beach in the sun, and it's been like twice as warm as what it is now. You know, we was on like 12, 13 degrees a couple of days ago, and now we're back down to five, six degrees centigrade, that is, by the way. Um, you know, and this is the heaviest like cloud we've had for a couple of weeks, do you know what I mean? Even though we've had heavy spray in here and there. But yeah, basically when we do come down, on them sort of half blue sky days and it's sunny and nice, there's no one down here, you know. And that's kind of like gets comment all the time. 
from like, oh my god, where are all the people, you know, especially there's a lot of unemployed people around, where are they? But now all of a sudden, everyone's coming down the beach for a solar eclipse they cannot see, and they know they cannot see because of the sky being like this. <laughs> oh, people. So we're now around the sort of total eclipse of the sun by the moon. Well, we're about 85% eclipse where we are. Lots of people about. Lots of people with tripods and big cameras and things like that. And obviously we're all here to witness not only the solar eclipse, but the first time we get to see the new scientific phenomenon, which is the invisible diamond ring. Obviously most people are um, familiar with the term the diamond ring or whatever it is during a solar eclipse. And that's where you see that line around the moon and you see the bright flashing bit at the top of the moon where the sun is just showing slightly people call it the diamond ring so this new scientific phenomena the invisible sign uh, diamond ring which is obviously where it's happening but you're not going to get to see it hey. <laughs> it's the last um, clip I'm gonna make just because I can't take it anymore. Just gonna, I'm gonna laugh too much, eh? Everybody's, um, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are all taking pictures of the sky and looking in a certain direction. This is the direction the sun is. It's like half nine in the morning. Most people are looking here, which is about 12 o'clock in the day. Okay, southwards. Sun rises in the east there. A couple of hours later, it's about there in the center where you pick, right? <laughs> you know, you go by the faces of the clock. 9 o'clock in the morning is where 9 o'clock is in, on the clock. 10 o'clock in the morning the sun will be in the sky. Midday on the clock, it's, you know, it's like one of the most basic things you're taught. So, to be honest with you, I'm loving this solar eclipse. Very spiritual moment, but I'm out of here.